Today we're going to be doing something different than the kind of things we usually do on this channel, but it is related because we will be using some wood products that come from doing the kind of things we do on this channel. Today I'm going to show you a fast, easy way to grill salmon steelhead trout and get a good smoke flavor. I like to use just a simple Weber grill and I like to use charcoal that I make myself. This charcoal is so much better in so many ways. It lights quickly, it heats up quickly, and you don't have to use lighter fluid. I'll put a link in the description to a video I made showing you how I make this charcoal. It's so easy. To light it, I just get a couple pieces of pitchy fat wood. You don't want to use soft wood for cooking, but this little bit is not going to hurt anything. It'll burn off before it's ready to cook. This wind is not helping, but we got it. Just a few little pieces of kindling. That's all it takes. And of course I should give my disclaimer. Fire is hot. It can burn you. It can burn other things. Be careful with fire. You can also use charcoal briquettes you buy in the store, but in that video I also explain why I don't like them. If you have to buy something, I prefer just regular charcoal, lump charcoal. Now after just a few minutes, the kindling is already burned down and the charcoal is already heating up. We'll prepare our fish, put your favorite seasonings on it. Start with pepper, salt, Try a little lemon salt on here. Some of it's getting on the fish, the rest of it is blowing away. And some of Uncle Terry's devil dust, which is a whole bunch of different types of hot peppers, all ground up. Don't want to rub your eyes after you do this. I had just enough time to put the seasoning on and these coals are already ready to go. Get the grate good and hot so I can clean it off. Now wait for that to stop smoking because that's not the flavor I want. I want the wood flavor. Now I'd like to take a little piece of hardwood you can use whatever flavor of wood smoke you like. I like to use manzanita. It has such a good flavor for salmon, steelhead trout, salmonids like that. Put that down in the wood. Put your fish on there. Close the lid. I like to use manzanita with salmonids like salmon, steelhead, and trout. It just has such a good flavor that complements that type of fish. It does nothing for whitefish though. If you have a hard time finding manzanita on your place, that might be because you don't live on the west coast. It only grows here on the west coast, so if you live somewhere else, it might be hard to find. Other woods are good too, alder, hickory. We don't have hickory here, but we do have alder, and we have plenty of manzanita but I like to use my local wood. Some of you might be wondering, do you have to have a flatbed trailer with a load of logs on it to be able to do this? Well, you don't have to, but it certainly helps. If anything, it just provides good ambiance and provides moral support. Now we'll check on this. This piece is looking flaky. I want to take it off as soon as it looks flaky because I don't want to overcook it. That one's ready. Looks like that one's good too. Actually not quite on that one, needs a little bit more. 
We're not making sushi today. I used to have a metal pan that I'd put in here to cook them on, but I found that as long as they have skin on them, you can put the skin straight on the grill and it usually doesn't stick. And that way I don't have a pan I have to clean up. If you don't have a trailer load of logs to do this on, the next best thing is probably a tailgate. And if you don't have either of those, there are a lot of other surfaces that would work too. Let's check this last piece. That's looking better. Very important to not overcook these things. If we shut it down, it'll go out and we can reuse our charcoal. Yellow jackets are wanting in on this. I need a bear to keep these things away. Hmm, that's good stuff right there. Not overcooked, just enough smoke flavor to make it really good. The crow agrees. I'm gonna have myself a fishy feast. On the next video, we'll probably put these logs on the mill, mill them into lumber and some timbers. If I get enough views and if enough of you hit the like button, I'll probably do another one about how I do my world famous tri-tip, at least as famous in my world. With that, I use a different technique and a different wood smoke flavor. Although I wasn't planning on turning this into a cooking channel, I'll put a link in the description to the video showing how I make my charcoal. Go check that one out. I have to save my fish from the yellow jackets. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Now you take a little piece of hardwood, whatever is your fla flavor it, your flavor, flavor, your fl flav, flav, never mind.